Ladies and gentlemen, Style of Mike. Welcome back today. Today I want to talk a little bit about my nutrition. I am on the goal for the shreds life. I am on the mission for aesthetics. So I'm watching my nutrition a little bit. Uh, if you haven't, I suggest all of you track your food for, I don't know, six months, maybe even a year to just start to understand how your body reacts to different nutrition, macronutrient uh, ratios, as well as just starting to learn. It's something we never learned in school and we don't learn growing up what type of uh, calories are in each food. And the best way to do that is to track it before you eat it. And I did that for so long, so now I'm kind of going on more of uh, more of an intuitive route, kind of uh, just going by feel because I know pretty much what I eat where. And we want to talk about fast food eating today, a little bit of convenient eating, and then uh, even some of the things that I might make or do at home. Again, I don't have a strict calories right now. I kind of go by feel depending on how hard my training is, how I'm looking, how I'm weighing. Um, but generally speaking, I'd say I'm trying to eat anywhere from 200, 250 carbs, anywhere from 50 to maybe 80 grams of fat, and anywhere from 200 to maybe 200 grams of protein a day. Some of the favorite things I like to eat is probably high, high priority on the list, Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna dig into that in a second. I eat a good amount of Chipotle. It's easy to balance kind of a burrito and a Chipotle bowl depending on how much carbs you want and without you know a bunch of sour cream and a bunch of cheese, you can keep it a little bit lower fat or you can do light rice or light beans, keep it a little bit lower carb uh, as well as I'm supported by and sponsored by Bite Meals, which makes it super convenient. So uh, they ship out meals that are generally high protein, uh, moderate carb and low-ish fat. Uh, you just throw them in the microwave for a little bit. They're pretty fresh. They only last about five days. So um, not, not like over-preserved or anything and those taste delicious. And they're also very convenient when I'm at home, when I'm on the road or I'm traveling about videos, gyms, whatever it might be. Um, you know, obviously something like Chick-fil-A or Chipotle might be easier to drive through, eat on the way. So most people, you know, you think fast food, you think even Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, you think, uh, you know, unhealthy or garbage food. And, and, and there are a lot of unhealthy, unhealthy options there, but you can always cut back on the calories to, depending on the choices you make. Everything's about moderation, balance, and what you eat throughout, you know, not only just one meal, but a day, a week, a month, a year, those calories, those macronutrient breakups is what's going to matter. So um, you can make better choices no matter where you go. Um, you know, simple things like if you're eating out you do a salad with a dressing on the side uh, instead of getting uh, a burger and french fries you get a burger and a salad or a burger and some steamed veggies on the side you're always asking uh, your waitress to not put butter on your veggies or whatever little things like that uh, is very simple tweaks not necessarily changes so you have to you know be a little hermit in your house eating salads and tilapia all day alone uh, to look a little bit better, to lo lose a little bit of fat and gain a little bit of muscle, you can be social and just tweak how you order and what you order. So when I go to Chick-fil-A, uh, I have a pretty balanced meal. Um, some people do a good job of maybe having more of a, a calorie dense meal or a junkier meal, you know, dinner and, and a healthier uh, lunch and breakfast or lower calorie uh, breakfast and lunch. For me, I like to balance each meal a little bit uh, with my carbs, protein, and fat. And so at Chick-fil-A, what I like to do is, is they have grilled nuggets, which are absolutely delicious. Um, it is literally just grilled chicken. I do a little bit of barbecue sauce, but I normally get uh, two eight count there. So there's just a good amount of protein, a hair of fat, maybe a, t a, 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 a sprinkle, a dash of carbohydrates from maybe some uh, stuff that they cook it with or who knows what, I don't, I'm not even sure, but we'll give you all the macronutrient breakdown at the end. Uh, and then, because you can't go to Chick-fil-A and get, not get the real deal. I just get a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yes, it's fried. Uh, yes, it has some carbs and bread, but uh, because these the, the, the grilled nuggets are so low in fat, uh, I get a little bit of fat from that and it tastes delicious. I tend to get uh, kind of my veggies and fruits in in the morning and then my veggies and fruits in at night and lunch is midday when I'm kind of jamming away at emails or content or streaming um, or working out. I tend to eat a little bit more like this on the road. So uh, basic Chick-fil-A sandwich, uh, you know, the, 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 the fried one, the delicious one. They also have a grilled one, depending on, you know, if I maybe I wanted to do, um, you know, the, the fried nuggets and do a grilled sandwich. You can always, you know, balance things out like that. But the, the regular sandwich is 41 carb, uh, 20 grams of fat or so, and about 30 grams of protein. Um, so overall, not too much. Again, a little bit higher in the fat. And then the nuggets. Um, according to my fitness pal, and this may be accurate, you know, everything's not perfect, but if you're not trying to step on stage and you're just kind of trying to lean out or live a healthier life, you could easily estimate with these. For all 16 nuggets, it's about 70 grams of protein uh, and, and basically about gra five grams of fat and nothing else. So I do use a little bit of barbecue sauce, so you can kind of estimate these, you know, anywhere, 10 carbs or less. Uh, barbecue sauce does have some sugar in it, but it is delicious. And for some reason, I love their barbecue sauce in particular.
if I am at home, uh, out of convenience, you know, I do just do the bite meals. I'll either do one or two, depending on how hungry I am. Uh, mo majority of them vary from maybe 500 uh, to around 700 calories or so, um, which is a full meal for most people, but sometimes I'm extra hungry and I'll just eat two or three big meals a day rather than snacking out. Uh, but if I'm actually gonna cook, uh, I'll do some kind of lean meat. I might do uh, some type of a steak, some type of chicken, chicken thigh, uh, and normally just some type of veggie. I keep kind of my carbs, especially when I'm dieting like right now, I like to keep them to more volume or more micronutrients so I keep it in my veggies or I eat a lot of fruit so whether it's apples peaches whatever I have around uh, one out of convenience two it's a good snack three gets you some of those fiber uh, and, and, and micronutrients so with my main course dinner it's just a bunch of veggies broccoli asparagus maybe some kind of peppers um, even artichokes things of that nature things that um, fill up my stomach maybe in a big salad uh, and then the lean protein to go on the side to keep me satiated. Big thing while you're dieting is yes, you will have cravings. Yes, sometimes you will be hungry, um, but you can, based on your food choices, you can eat a little bit more food uh, and still get less calories, right? The calories you get from uh, three slices of bacon uh, compared to the volume you get from there is a lot different than a full salad uh, with a little bit of chicken or fish on top. Uh, another thing I love to eat if I do go eat out and sit down is sushi. Uh, sushi is something that you can order and it can be very calorie dense if you're getting all these fried rolls with sauces and all these things or it could be very very uh, healthy or, or, or less calories and, and protein dense if you just do some uh, tuna some fish uh, maybe a little bit of uh, edamame and a little bit of uh, rice something like that and so I love eating sushi I love going to different restaurants and still being able to be social hang out with my friends and eat well so like I said, uh, buying things in bulk is a super easy way uh, if you do like to meal prep. I personally don't. I'm lucky enough with my schedule that I can eat this way and I can kind of go meal by meal. But if you have a nine to five or you like to be a little bit more organized, a lot of people buy in bulk, cook in bulk, and something very simple is chicken thigh. Uh, it's a little bit fattier than chicken breast, but often a little bit more flavorful. Uh, and the macronutrient breakdown is still pretty good for about eight ounces of chicken thigh. For about eight ounces of chicken thigh, you can still get about 50 grams of protein uh, and just about 10 grams of fat. Uh, then you can add any kind of veggie you want. Uh, it'll always depend on your body weight, your experience, how much muscle you have, how much cardio and activity you're doing, on how many calories you need, obviously, to lose weight. Uh, and then you'll have to eat your portion size uh, depending on that. And that's why I do suggest everybody tracks their food. Uh, but for me, uh, like I said, I've tracked for a long time. I can kind of go by feel. So I like to eat bigger portions of protein, so 10, 12, ounces of chicken is not a big deal for me and then the veggies are the same thing uh, yes you have to track your veggies if you're dieting all calories do count uh, you'll just be able to eat more veggies uh, and get less calories involved rather than if you're eating uh, cereal or ice cream or something like that right you'll be able to eat a, a, a crap ton of asparagus to get 500 calories worth of asparagus compared to 500 calories worth of ice cream uh, that's kind of the point and that's why I like to eat veggies one I'm lucky enough my palate uh, likes a good amount of green veggies but hopefully you can find a couple vegetables a couple fruits that you enjoy uh, to mix in there because micronutrients are important as well again I am sponsored by bite meals but it is one of the most convenient ways to stay on your nutrition and easily track your food because they all come with higher protein meals one of my favorite that they make is the chicken alfredo uh, it's a little bit of pasta a little bit of chicken a, a good amount of sauce uh, big big portions uh, uh, even when I'm starving I can only eat two when I'm a normal meal I'll eat one portion and it works perfectly uh, the breakdown for that is 14 grams of fat 70 carb and nearly 60 grams of protein so uh, perfectly balanced on a training day good amount of carbs good amount of protein for most people and it will big enough meal to satiate most of you um, Overall convenience, you know, it's a couple minutes in the microwave, a lot easier than cooking up a meal uh, for lunch and cooking up a meal for dinner. And in my opinion, it does taste fresher than if I cooked all my meals. You know, if I just cooked a bunch of chicken on Sunday and then tried to re-microwave it all week, uh, these taste a little bit fresher to me, uh, plus the convenience factor because I'm mega lazy. So in between emails, I'll throw this in the microwave, continue working, and just eat and go. So uh, normally I'll do a lunch, again, something like a Chick-fil-A and Chipotle. A breakfast and a dinner will probably be something like a bite meal, or if I'm feeling extra, frisky or I get all my work done early, I might cook up a little something. Just trying to show you guys a couple ways that I like to eat. Uh, maybe one day uh, we're trying to move in a new house again, uh, get Connor there so we can do some full vlogs and we'll do maybe a full day of eating, show you exactly what I eat every single meal with the time, uh, time stamp around my workouts. But this is normal things for my type of appetite and my lifestyle. Hopefully some of that gives you ideas on how you can diet a little bit better. Same thing goes for a bulk. All you gotta do is get the calorie surplus or if you're dieting, a calorie deficit. And for me right now, the goal is shreds life. The goal is to get a little more aesthetic. The goal is to feel good. Just slammed a bunch of cardio and I'm feeling good. Although it's 100 degrees outside, um, 
Check out Bite Meals if you guys are interested. They have a subscription model. Meals are about $8 a piece uh, when you break it down, which is actually fairly good considering I spend 12 or 15 bucks at Chipotle pre uh, pretty often. Uh, link is in the bio. Chick-fil-A, you don't sponsor me, but I love you either way. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Solid Mike, new videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm twitching almost every day I can. Link in the bio as well. Catch you guys in the next one.